Hey everyone, and welcome to Post to Post. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hope you guys are having a great day. Yesterday we talked football. Today we're talking baseball, but we primarily talk hockey here on the channel. So if you're new, if you like sports, we'd love it to see you. Hit the subscribe button down below, join the family here, and uh, and just have some fun. So today we're having some fun with some logos actually from a league called the Carolina League, which I think is a minor league if I'm not mistaken. And there are 10 teams in this league. I have ranked the logos. We're going to go through them in reverse order, 10 to 1, and just have some fun. So let's get into it. Let's start off with my least favorite, number 10. And that's going to be the Fredericksburg Nationals. So if you're familiar with some of my rankings in the past, specifically with baseball, even not with baseball, with hockey too, there's a lot of minor league teams that share some branding from parent teams or an affiliate team or whatever. And I think that's that's cool and that's important. Uh, I've played on those teams in minor hockey and stuff, but I personally like when a team runs with their own brand and maybe they have an affiliation patch or something on the shoulder or whatever, but their actual team name, their logo, whatever, is their own identity, not a different team. So whenever I see teams like the Fredericksburg Nationals, which you know is meant to kind of resemble the Washington Nationals, I feel like it's almost a bit lazy at the same time. Personal opinion, there's no right or wrong, but I always rank these quite low. So that's literally the reason why this is last. Moving on to number nine, and that's going to be the Winston-Salem Dash. So this logo kind of looks like it was created in the you know, mid to late 90s or something. It's quite it's quite old school in a way. I like the colors, like the cut, like the, it's a bit of like almost in between uh, orange and red. It's like a burnt orange almost. So like that little line back in there, I really like, and it complements very nicely with the purple. It's got a baseball element in there, which is great, but it's, it's quite old and there's not anything wrong with that. And, you know, it's really good to be classic, especially in baseball, but it would be really nice to see a modern version of this logo, specifically the text above or the font above. It's extremely generic. So a modern version of this logo would, uh, see it be ranked a little bit higher in this video. Let's move on. Number eight, I put the Salem Red Sox. So this is literally for the exact same reason that I ranked the other one in last place. This is just, I don't know, it's, it's you know, they've added their little touch to it with the thing in the background and the lovely rolling hills and the mountains and stuff back there. It's, it's, a, it's a nice little backdrop, but it's still the Red Sox. It still reminds me of the Boston Red Sox. This isn't Salem to me, it's Boston. So for that reason, I had to rank it low. Number seven, the Carolina Mudcats. I don't know what a mud cat is, but I, I assume it's a catfish that likes to spend all its time in mud. I don't know. I'm from I'm from Canada. We don't have mud cats here, not that I know of, but uh, it's an interesting name. I kind of like it, actually. The logo itself is, it's a little cartoony, but it, it gives dimension. The mud cat is coming through the sea, which I assume stands for Carolina. And, uh, you know, there's a bit of a dimension. There's a bit of kind of a relationship between the two graphical elements in here, which is which is neat. I don't like the expression on the Mudcat, though. I wish it was a little bit more aggressive, but uh, it, it's not bad. Really good, really good attempt here. Number six, the Down East Wood Ducks. Very strange name again. Uh, Down East is more like of a slang kind of term up here, up here, at least. Maybe there are places called Down East in the States, but in Canada, Down East is like super slang but the wood ducks. What I like the most about this isn't necessarily individual assets of this logo. It's that it just generally feels like baseball. Sometimes you see baseball style logos in other sports like hockey, and sometimes it works and most of the time it doesn't in my opinion. But when I think about baseball, I think about logos like this. We've got text, a lot of text that comes out and around. The, the perimeter shape resembles a baseball the font itself is extremely stylized. So I like the approach here. I like almost a containment shape that looks like a baseball. And then the duck in the middle, or sorry, the wood duck in the middle, is got a, a bit of a, an aggressive, almost like smirk to him in a way. He just, he's kind of like teasing you a little bit. So I kind of, I like his expression. The colors look good and the, the logo itself is very baseball. And I like the stylization on some of the specific uh, uh, letters in here, like the W down below, just that little, how it splits off at the end. Uh, on the top right of the of the W, it's it's a nice little nice little touch. Number five, I put the Lynchburg Hillcats, mainly due to the top logo and the colorization. I like these specific shades of these colors together. The it's almost a teal, I guess, and a green looks good. And then the dark blue, very complementary, and a gray perimeter color as well looks very good. Not a fan of the uh, font down below. There's really a fight here for two graphical elements. What's the primary graphical element? Is it the actual cat hill? logo itself or is it the font down below 
the font is awesome. Like the text looks really good. It's very unique. It's awesome. But what's you know what's what's drawing the eye here? What's the primary element? I will say though that I mean all these teams probably have secondary logos, but the Lynchburg Hillcats do have a very good secondary logo. But I didn't include it in this video because it is secondary, not primary. So if you have some time, go check it out. It's pretty good. And number four, I put the Wilmington Blue Rocks. Not bad. It's a little cartoony and that's, you know, it's bringing it down a little bit. I couldn't put it in my top three, but I like the colors. Blue and yellow are very complimentary. It's hard to match yellow with so many other colors out there. That's why it's probably my least favorite color. It's conflicting with red sometimes because you have that relationship with uh, McDonald's like this it works in Calgary because they've used it in their history so you've already built that relationship sub subconsciously in your mind but to form a new relationship like red and and orange is hard because they're similar families I find yellow and black even though it's used a lot it's still it's not very complimentary in my opinion so yellow is to me because it's so hard to match with other colors it's my least favorite color but Without a doubt, it matches best and looks amazing with blue. So wonderful choice here, and not only matching it with blue, but two shades of blue, a very light blue and a very dark blue. It looks great. I like the kind of shape that's going on here. It's almost like a ribbon that kind of like wraps around. It's almost like the, the back of a wrestling belt where that shape, that diamond shape in the background is the back of the, you understand what I mean? And then the, then the, uh, the actual belt itself kind of loops around and you've got the text on the back. I know that's not intended to be what it looks like, but that's what my crazy mind sees. Let's move on. Number three, we've got the Myrtle Beach Pelicans. I talked a lot about yellow and, and blue being comp complementary colors in that last one. And this is, the, again, the perf perfect example of it. Two shades of blue, a very saturated blue, almost a sky blue, a very deep, dark ocean blue in there uh, with a beautiful yellow. It's got a very nautical theme to it. It's got a very stylistic theme to it with the font, the pelicans, and the Myrtle Beach. It's contained in this lovely like porthole shape, which is great. You've got a bit of a scene in the background there with what looks to be maybe the moon and a bit of reflection on the uh, on the ocean there. And then obviously the, the pelican himself. Look at that awesome expression in his face. It's hard to really characterize a pelican. They're a very unemotional creature. They don't really smile. They can't, they can't smile. Obviously they've got beaks, but he, whoever he or she has introduced a bit of personality to the pelican, which I think is a difficult thing, and they've they've really nailed it. I love the intimidation or the ag aggressiveness in the eyes and the eyebrows there. They've they've translated that well. So this is a very well done logo. Number two, Frederick Keys. Really big fan of this logo a lot. A lot of times you see logos kind of create shapes out of nothing. We saw it with that you know that wrestling belt kind of look but you know, squares and circles, these are all very popular and shields as well. Very popular things to kind of contain other elements within. In the industry, there's lots of names for what this is. I've always just called it like a container. And baseball has a wonderful container and that's the diamond. It's a, it's a shape that's within baseball. It's ingrained in every baseball fan's minds. And whoever created this uh, used their container shape as the diamond and it's it's perfect. It contains everything. It's got the palm trees, the, the baseball. So it's got baseball elements in there, which is great. Uh, complementary colors in a way. I find that the orange and the black are very complementary. Not so much the orange and the yellow like I talked about earlier. Okay fonts, nothing crazy. And uh, it's very, very low key and well executed logo in my opinion. And number one, without a doubt, is the Fayetteville Woodpeckers. Such a modern logo, complementary colors with that red and the silver. It looks so good together as well with that uh, black. Actually, it almost looks like it's got just like a hint of blue to it. Maybe on my screen, maybe not on your screen, but on my screen, there's just a touch of blue. Very, very deep, 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 deep blue. It's amazing. Extremely modern, like I said. Love the little intricacies in the font. The top right of the W, the bottom right of the S. It's almost been, you know, like pecked out by the woodpecker himself. The baseball bat itself has pieces kind of packed out of it. It's, it's awesome. Like I love everything about this. It's exactly what I want it to be. It's got a modern character on there. He's angry. The font is unique. It's all kind of contained in this one big thing and it's, it's it's really, really good. So big fan of this one. So guys, let me know down below in the comment section of all the logos you saw in this video. What was your favorite? Would love to hear from you. And I've got more baseball leagues to do as well. What do, what do you want to see next? I've done a bunch on the channel already. So go check that out. There's a baseball playlist already set up on the channel. Go check it out. There's lots more to do. So hit the subscribe button if you're new. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Adios. Yeah.